Oceanlock Hydro is an entirely voluntary run organisation which will generate renewable energy right in the heart of Oxford. We're really grateful that Oxford University and several other bodies have come forward and are helping us with our aim to try and realise the potential of the site to deliver that broader message about sustainability. The fear for a project like this is that there may be members of the community or the wider population who, get, who miss out on the fantastic heritage of this site. This grant from the university is helping fund my time with the board to share this with other community projects around the country, but also it's to let the local community know about what's going on here on site. Running behind the hydro scheme, there is a great amount of technical kit and it's about generating electricity. But for me, the real power behind this project, it's about the power of people. Throughout time, the Thames has been used to power mills along this particular stretch, in fact. So this project is just another manifestation of how the Thames is being used to harness that power. And this energy and all the efforts are being fed right back into the community. It's under community ownership. And sharing this good news with West Oxford is a, is a, is a thing we must do. My name's Martin Gillett, I'm the manager of the Oxfordshire Play Association. We're a local charity and our main aim is to get kids outside playing, uh, being active and not sat home on the sofa eating chips and playing on Xboxes. What we've been looking at, particularly in Oxford City, is to get kids access to sort of natural play areas, so just woods, things like that. The, the idea of this is zero cost. There's no fixed equipment to be maintained, there's no insurance to be paid by anyone. This area will just grow as the children play with it. The university had very kindly given us some funding towards this, so they've contributed to the cost of clearing it uh, for the staff time, etc., for today as well. Um, the good thing about today, not only is it encouraging children to come outside, but also giving them some sort of life skills just around fire, how to build dens, etc. It's all about teamwork, working together, uh, and say, links into schoolwork around sort of science, things like that. So it's sort of a win win situation, really, it covers lots of bases. I'm Alex, I'm the part of the team coordinating Alice's Day this year. Um, it's a celebration of Alice in Wonderland, so on the 4th of July, all the cultural venues across the city are getting involved and doing free family events. Crafting, songwriting, storytelling, absolutely everything for every age group as well, because we've also got talks for adults. Uh, the university gave us a community fund grant and that helped us with the education workshop, so we really want to connect the children of Oxford with their literary heritage because you often find that children, especially people who live out in the Lees and in Barton, don't really associate Oxford as being for them and Christchurch and the Bodleian and all of these amazing places and museums as being for them. And actually we wanted to explain to these children that look, this is your place for you.